friends, it's Kay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and very exciting unboxing video today. I'm so happy I finally got to start these. But yeah, let's jump right into the February through unboxing. Also, apologies if there's a weird echo. I've never filmed in my little dorm hallway before, but we're gonna hope for the best. All right, so here is the box and I'm super excited to do this and I don't know why I'm stalling, let's just open it. <laughs> oh, strong wrong everyone, da da da! Mm. Alright, so here is the gorgeous little spoiler card and also because I discovered last video, I'm terrible at giving names. I'm just going to show the names of all the artists and the creators at the bottom of the screen rather than saying them because why butcher names when I don't have to? Yeah, so the February theme is what the future holds, and I honestly have no clue what to expect for the book, so I'm super excited. Get rid of all the stuff. Ooh, I think I see a candle. We're going for it. I'm so happy, you guys. I have always wanted a candle, and this one is Aiko from the Lunar Chronicles. All right, let's see what this smells like. Ooh. I can't put a, is it grape? Cranberry. It's cranberry, peach, citrus, vanilla. Ooh, yum. Yeah, so hopefully none of my RAs watch this video because we can't have these. So I'm gonna have to give it to my mom to take home, but it smells really good. So, and I love the Luna Chronicles. So I'm so happy to finally have a candle themed to Ico. And yes, next up is this. Is this a pillowcase? Ooh. All right, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see if I can even get this in here. Um, hi, this is really awkward, but yeah, here's the front. Um, so it says, Per Aspera Ad Astria, and this is from the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. I have not read it, but BookTube loves it. And ooh, and there are some awesome looking characters on the back. So, okay, I'm assuming this is what the quote means. Through hardship to the stars. And, ah, I love it. So yes, this is a pillowcase and that's really cool. I don't know if I'll actually use it as a pillowcase, but I'm super excited to have it. Okay, I don't know what these are, but I'm intrigued. Ugh, gotta get rid of that. All right, so here we have a holder. What's it to? Give me a second. Ooh, I think this is this is a culinary set. Ooh, hold on. Why is this wrapped so well? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My friends. Ah, they're golden utensils. My friends love to cook and stuff, so they're gonna be so jealous when I show up eating with golden utensils. They're gonna be so jealous of me, and I can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I never thought I would be getting golden utensils in a fairy loot box, but you know what? I love it. So you guys, this is a culinary set based on, there's quotes on the utensils, you guys. How do I make you see it? All right, you can kind of see the quotes. That is so cool, oh my gosh. And these are all quotes from Warcross, and I'm assuming here's the main character from Warcross by Marie Lu. I have not read it yet, but I've heard it's really good. So these gorgeous utensils may inspire me to read it. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll read the quotes in a second. Okay, I don't know what order they go in, but. So the spoon is, every locked door has a key. The fork is, think bad a thoughts. I don't curse, sorry guys, but you know what it says. And then the knife is everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. I like that quote. Ooh. So, um, coolest utensil set ever. Can't wait to look amazing eating with my family. And in this cute little container. Ah, I love it. Everyone really thinks outside the box. I love it. All right, next up, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, this is an anneal pen. Let's see what we got. Ooh. So this pen says, plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play being human. And this is from Vicious. And have I read Vicious? No. <laughs> but um, yeah, one of, it's, all, it's a few of my friends' TBR, so they'll be jealous of this. 
This is so cool though. I love enamel pins and I need to really make a space beside my bookshelf to hang all my bookish enamel pins because now that I have fairly, I'm hoping to start a little collection and I love that. We got a box. What am I doing? I don't, I don't even know. Okay, so on this box, I don't know if it's important or not, but there's a quote, the night walks down the sky with the moon in her hand. I love that. Oh my gosh, these are fairy lights. I've always wanted fairy lights. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ooh, they're moon fairy lights. That is so cool. These are gonna look so good in my room around my bookshelf. Ah, I love these. I got fairy lights from Fairy Loop. That's amazing. I love that and I'm so happy. Ah, that's so cool. All right, and then we got tarot cards. Well, I know the characters on this edition. Probably not, but it's fine. So we have six of wands and we have, oops, I dropped it. Okay, I did that backwards. But we have five of wands and six of wands. And as always, the fairy loop art is stunning. I love getting tarot cards from them. Who is, who are they? Who are you? Oh, I want to read this. It's, so these are both characters from Spend the Dawn. Do I know who they are? No, but Spend the Dawn is on my TBR and I hope to get to it soon. And when I do, and hopefully I'll love it, I'll have these tarot cards to go with it. Ah, I love that. I love, I just, I love fairy loot, you guys. And then drum roll for the book. Ugh, I'm getting stuff everywhere. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I have no clue what the book is going to be, so I'm super excited. And here's, of course, the bookmark. I'm so excited. I love bookmarks. And of course, it's stunning. So I love having a little collection of bookmarks. So love that for me. All right, everyone, drum roll. Let's do this. Dun, da, da. Stuck. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, the golden flame. It, I have not heard of this book. That is, oh, it's signed. I forgot that they signed. Oh. There's the signature of the author, Emily Victoria. And let's see what this, oh my gosh, you guys. Um, first of all, if the maroon pages weren't stunning enough, look at this. Oh my gosh. And then there's the maroon font on this, like what is this, beige? I'm stunned. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't, okay, this is so random, but I love how font looks inside this book. It just, I don't know how to explain it. Some books have a weird font, but this font works so perfectly. And this gorgeous art is also what the letter from the author is. So love that for me. And then of course, what we all want to see, we have this also matches the pages. And on the back, it says, change your fate, pay the price. Rice. And we have this stunning artwork. I feel the science fiction, so hopefully it's science fiction. This is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. So a note from the author, then I'll read to you the back of the book. So dear Fairy Loot Reader, this book was an adventure for me. I wrote it for my teen self because it was the book she would have loved to read. I wrote it to look at the ways that people can be kind as well as cruel to each other and the ways we find hope even in the dark. Flame is truly the story of my heart, and Alexis and Karis' journey are segments of mine. As you join in the journey, I hope that you too find an adventure in the page of this book. Emily. I love that. All right, let's see. This book is gorgeous. I'm so happy to own it. Oh my gosh. Fantasy fans won't want to miss this one. Orphan and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes. Karis wants nothing more than to find her brother long ago shipped away, but family bonds don't matter in the scriptorium whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient automaton army. In search of her brother, Karis does seemingly, does see seemingly impossible. She wakes a hidden automaton, intelligent with a conscience of his own. Alex has no idea why he was made, or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the autumn. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Karis, it's haunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother in the secret that's held her country in its power for centuries. This sounds so good. I'm so excited. Fairy Loot is doing it the most. That was everything in the box. What is my favorite aside from this breathtakingly gorgeous book you asked? Um, don't ask me why, but I love the fairy lights and also these super cool golden utensils are like really cool and I don't know why I love them as much as I do, but I do. But yeah, um, I think I'll go with fairy lights because I've always wanted fairy lights and now I have them. And what is next month's theme you ask? It is Frozen Fables. 
and I'm super excited. Again, I don't know what the book could be, so I'm very intrigued to find out, and I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your favorite item from this fairy lip box is. I would love to hear it, and if you have heard of this book and you're hyped for it as well, let me know. And if you want to see more of me, my social medias are linked below, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Until next time, I'm Kay. Bye!